Uh, hello everyone. Welcome to my video on the uh, uh, eTracer project, the enhanced uh, vacuum tube curve tracer. So today I'm going to show you a real measurement against a uh, vacuum tube. <clears throat> so uh, because I'm still working on the uh, schematics of the uh, 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 filament supply, so I need to stay with my uh, uh, power supply uh, for the eTracer. So for eTracer, it uses a um, um, 20 volt uh, power supply. Uh, it happens that uh, I'm uh, designing a uh, uh, single-ended back, uh, uh, back end tube amplifier using GN70. And uh, GN70 GN is a, a big direct heated triode. Uh, it, uh, the filament supply is uh, uh, 20 volt, 3 amp. So uh, we, are, we are going to use GN70 as our uh, uh, target <coughs> today. Okay, so uh, along, uh, uh, on the screen you can see the uh, data sheet of the uh, GN70. So as you can see, the the, uh, the uh, IV curve go all the way uh, up to two two uh, two k volt, which is pretty high, and uh, our device can only go up to seven fifty. So in this region, we should expect the similar result against uh, this uh, data sh data sheet. So uh, if you look here at the 600 uh, plate voltage, we, sh uh, we should measure uh, 120 milliamp. So um, for a, uh, for a uh, new tube. Okay, so let me show you the uh, current setup. <clears throat> so this is a tracer, the, uh, the black and red uh, wire connect to the uh, uh, filament of the GN70 and uh, this is a high voltage and uh, this is a negative voltage output so now let's turn on the uh, power okay so as you can see the uh, um, GN70 will draw uh, uh, around the 3 amp uh, for the, its uh, filament supply and uh, we can see uh, GN70 lights up it will become quite hot in a minute <coughs> okay so I think we are ready to go So this is the uh, 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 the loop we use to the uh, for the measurement. So the uh, uh, high voltage go from uh, 10 volt to all the way to 750 in the step of 20 volts, and the negative voltage from uh, minus one volt to minus 81 volt uh, in a step of uh, 20 volts. Okay, so let's now launch the program, and as you can see. As usual, this uh, this window is uh, displays the communication between the uh, PC and uh, um, the tracer. Okay, now let's run it. So the first curve is the uh, um, the curve with the uh, 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 grid supply of minus one volt, which is very close to uh, zero volt. Okay, at this point. The uh, ADC is saturated, but uh, in the actual device, the the, the current still go uh, still uh, go goes up. So uh, next time, um, the um, I need to work on the uh, uh, protection circuit for the uh, um, the uh, uh, current measurement in the near future. <coughs> okay, so this is the second curve. This curve is uh, for a uh, negative uh, grids voltage of minus 20 volt okay so between curves the uh, the the uh, the uh, uh, currently the uh, the machine will discharge so you have to wait for the discharge time and uh, maybe in the future i can uh, do a, a scan trace the curve in a different direction so i can save uh, pre, uh, about half the of, of the uh, scan time
Okay, so this is the third curve um, with the uh, uh, grid bias of minus 40 volt. So if you remember the data sheet correctly, uh, at 600 volt, we should uh, measure 120 milliamp. Okay, so um, 480, 640, so 600 is pretty much uh, here. So, and the current is something like 120 mini, milliamp. So it means this uh, the, the, this tube we are testing has the uh, 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 characteristic of a new tube, um, which is expected because I bought this uh, the tube on eBay, uh, new, and uh, it, sh it should uh, act like a new tube because it's not uh, plugged in yet. Okay, so that's about it. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you like it and. Uh, um, I'll see you soon.